I still think recording two separate things would help with the quality of the... I don't think our quality is bad. I think it could be better. It's just not good. (laughs) So, yes, we can agree on that. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this very special edition of Cup of Joe's as I press A to kick Joe's butt in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I am Joe Brown, joined by my best friend Joe Perry, and, and this, is, down. This, is, this is actually the one-year anniversary of Cup of Joe's, so we thought, uh... Ooh, boomerangs. I don't, how do I blow up his bomb? Oh my god, I forget! Is, is it down B? Is it, is it? No, it's not down B. No, it is. Oh, my God. Anyway, this is episode 39 of Cup of Joe's, which, you know what, Joe? 39 episodes in 52 weeks? We did we did pretty darn good. We did a good job. You know, we can't we can't cover uh, every week or whatever. Sometimes it's, we got personal things going on or there's not a lot of gaming news for us to talk about. But I'm happy with uh, how our first year of, of podcasting went. I am too. Oh, don't do it. So yeah, this whole this whole time, hopefully my GameCube controller clacking will not bother you. Um, and maybe you'll feel nostalgic listening. Oh, come being on. excited about it because it's yes, it is smash time. Or it's time to smash. But we have a couple of things we're gonna talk about <laughs> while we're playing, which is gonna make it even harder. Uh, you know, our our just top tier <laughs> our top player, you know. Ability. Ah! <laughs> uh, so the Game Awards happened literally hours before Smash came out. Um, Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Yes. And one of the things I was upset about was they showed the first DLC, you know, the first of the, of the fighters pass. Because Piranha Plant doesn't count. We all, we get him for free. Nice. Um... <laughs> I just I just give anyway, Joe. Piranha Plant doesn't count. Yes, so we have Joker from Persona Five will be the first character. Who knows? Maybe in March or April or something like that. Um, but I've got to be honest, Joe. I think it was poorly timed because the show started at like eight o'clock or eight thirty or whatever, and you had Reggie on the stage at the beginning. You had uh, other Nintendo games being shown off throughout the rest of the event. And they waited till 11:30 Eastern to to show the Persona trailer. And if you wanna, if some are asking how I know that, because at 11:30 I left my house to go pick up Smash Brothers because for the midnight release, so I had to go get in line and stuff. So I just think that was really poorly timed for for the East Coast people because I was not the only person in line for Smash. You know what I mean? Oh, that was nice. I'm not even mad. Um, <laughs> So like I, there was literally like eighty people at my GameStop. Like honestly, it was it was a huge deal, and people were like, "What new character? Who's Joker? You know, what do you? There's a new trailer." Like every person that kept showing up, the next person would say, "Oh, new character revealed or whatever." <gasps> you gotta save your jump, boy. Um, I, I was trying to use it. Every time you hit you hit me afterwards, I should get another jump. You get one. Everybody gets one, like Spider Man. <laughs> um. So I don't know what I don't know what you think about that. I just think that was really poorly timed because there was a large market. I not everybody, not you know, most people probably bought digital anyway, but like there was a good chunk of people who missed that announcement because they were going they like they missed the first smash announcement because they were going to get smash. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was silly that they did it that way. I'm also disappointed in the stupid character cuz I don't know that character. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know half the characters in this game anymore anyway, so whatever. (laughs) That's fair. Like, I've come to the consensus of every time I see a character, and I'm like, I have no idea who this character is. And I'm like, oh, well, they look really anime-y. I was like, probably from uh, Fire Emblem. (laughs) That's fair. Oh, believe me, Joe, I would have told you if, if he was from Fire Emblem. Well, you weren't playing with me, so I couldn't tell. Um, 
it's just every another thing that people are like, oh my god, we have a we have a PS4 exclusive. This changes the game. Ah, oh, damn it, Joe beat me. And they're like, oh, this is this is this is so cool. And it's like we literally have Cloud and uh, Solid Snake. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like gonna, this doesn't mean it this means literally nothing. We already have PlayStation exclusive characters. Well, it would have been a bigger deal if Master Chief showed up. Then we're like, oh wow, god. Xbox characters. But people are like, oh my god, this changes the future of DLC. Like, no, it does literally the same thing that we've been doing. Oh my god, I don't I'm, know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna change my character again. I'm doing it too. Um, um, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I don't know, like... <sighs> I was expecting a better choice of a, a new of a character. but that's And the, the way they me. did it... The way they did it was very unsmash like. Like it wasn't a a cinematic trailer where they pop in against other fighters. Like it was cool that it was done in the Persona art style, but the only thing Smash related was the little envelope that had the excuse me the uh, Smash logo on it. Are you really that mad about that though? They're they're being more creative. They're branching out. Yeah, but there was no gameplay. There was no like. I, I don't. I didn't see that as branching out. I saw that as like. That's just what they did because they didn't have gameplay to to show off, which they very well might not. Ooh, how about that spot dodge? <laughs> Get out of here. So I don't know. Obviously, I'm excited. A lot of people like Persona games. I've never played any of them. Like this just makes me want to play. Like you know, quit my job and dedicate 600 hours to the Persona franchise even more. Yeah, I know. Me too. Um, but I don't know. Maybe maybe one day. And maybe this means we could get like Persona on, on the Switch or something. I don't think it could handle it, but why well, wouldn't be able to handle it? Because so isn't it like a you know it's a big PS4 HD game and all that. An HD game. Oh my god! You just oh killed both god. of us, you jerk! Unintended <laughs> death. I'm actually heated right now. Um, why? Because you put in all that work and I just. Brought you with me. Yes, I should have just stayed on the ledge, man. Oh, damn. Yeah, um, yeah so what else do we have from the Game Awards? We had a a story cinematic from for Anthem, right? And then like a they showed off uh like uh there's like an exclusive beta or like elite beta something like that. No, I guess I missed that. Oh, I'm dead. Yes. Um. Yeah, I guess I missed it. When I was trying to catch up with it because I was busy that night and I didn't get to watch it. But. Oh, shit. Got it freezing up on me. There we go. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't. Oh my god, just give me a second. Ah! Yeah, it's it's actually, for anyone, like, why aren't these guys talking? Like, it's hard to try to have a, a, a television show. It's not television, but, like, having a production of a show and then also playing Smash at the same time. It's a little challenging. Oh my god, are you just going to stay charged forever? <laughs> <laughs> so, essentially, um... I forgot what we were talking about. <laughs> Anthem. Anthem yeah. uh, exclusive beta or whatever. I, I Like I said, I missed that. I couldn't... Alright, the next time. What else did you like at the Game Awards? Uh, I did like how they skipped a bunch of stuff that like I was trying to watch. Um, like, you know, uh, some of the other categories that... Yeah, there were like, a lot of categories with no build-up. They're just like, and this wins. We quickly rolled through them. Oh, I really also... Really, really bad band that played during the show. The um, band was bad? The Devil Trigger Band or whatever? Oh, the performance, yeah, yeah. They always yeah. have one weird performance, though. Like, the orchestra... Absolutely amazing. Loved them. Great. Yeah. Um, but uh, the new Far Cry, this is like the first Far Cry that's a direct sequel to a Far Cry uh, game, which is pretty cool. I'm excited about that. Yeah, that looked really cool. I thought it was just going to be DLC at first. You know what I mean? Uh, depending on how well they do that, it depends on whether or not it should have stayed DLC or is right. it okay that it's a full new game. Though I am interested to re to in- interact with the father after him predicting what was going to happen. Oh, by the way, spoiler alert: if you haven't finished Far Cry Five, a nuke goes off at the end of it. Oh my God! Really? Yeah, that's what. That's like the 
connection between the two games is right at the end of Far Cry 5, right when you beat it, a nuke explodes. So it's like you don't even get the satisfaction of, of winning because the world ends? Well, that's what you, I guess that's what happens. Like, So essentially you like arrest the father, or Joseph, mm-hmm. and um, then as, as you're doing that, he's like talking to you, and then a nuke goes off. Oh, damn. I did not know. Yeah, I didn't even know that. I thought that was like a just a take on this new this new version. No, no, it. no, because Joseph is in the uh, in the game. He says he goes. I thought that the end of the world would bring around a new a new world, a greater world, but I was wrong. He says that at the end of that trailer. Oh, okay. And yeah, I, like I think the the Far Cry Five looked really cool. I never I never got around to playing it. I only saw the opening like hour and a half of the game like i was at my friend's house playing it with him yeah. um it's really fun i need to be, i actually need to beat it myself um no what is uh, up with you pikachu goodbye um but yeah i'm excited for far cry i'm excited for um what is it because that series um, is all about the villains and that chick like she looked like a cool villain the two you know? of them it's, it's two sisters it looks like. yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, they look like cool villains. My one friend thought that they weren't that interesting, um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, uh, Joseph is still in it, so it'll be interesting to see if he's your new ally or if he's. Still I was just, I was just about to ask. Did he, did he think he's going to help you? Like, and is I don't that going to? I don't know. I think that'll be interesting. Yeah, it will be interesting. Uh, stop being the tail end of that attack, huh? <laughs> yeah, I literally, All I right. can't do anything. Jesus. Ooh, there you go, switching it up. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for that. Yes! Let's go. <laughs> Dirty rat. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm excited for, what is it? Uh, not Odyssey. Um, it's the O thing. What the heck is their name? Uh... The one who made the one who made the Fallout games, the like like new oh Vegas. Obsidian, Obsidian. I'm excited for their game. Their game looks good. Um, oh damn it! But, uh, their game looks really cool. People are saying that it might be the thing to take down Fallout, the Fallout series, because it's essentially Fallout but in space. Oh um, right, I remember that trailer now, or that announcement, whatever. Yeah, and then what else? What other games do they have? Give me list. What, what do you? What about you, Jeremy? What were some of the the ones? one I was most excited for was uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance Three. Oh, yeah. uh, I I loved the first two Ultimate Alliance games. Like I played so much of them with my brother when we were younger. Um, and like like seeing that, I didn't at first because there's that rumor, or you know, Square Enix is working on a new uh, Avengers game or whatever, right? Yeah, we talked um, about so, that in one of the episodes. Yeah, so I I assumed that um that the like people were saying Square Enix might they, they might show off this game because uh uh the the Russo brothers are there and they're presenting an award and stuff so the new uh Avengers game is going to be at Game Awards. So mm-hmm. going into that trailer I'm like, "Oh, okay, this uh this doesn't seem like a Square Enix art style or anything. This is weird." And then it goes, bam, Marvel, Ultimate Alliance 3, double bam, Switch exclusive. And I was like, oh, snap. I remember. I think you texted me about it or something. That I think that's huge. I think that's a big deal. In and my why opinion. Why is that? Why do you think it's a big deal, my friend? Hold on. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to uh, see if I, should, if I can add my... Uh, my game capture here and oh see God. no <laughs> just see if it works uh no yeah so um i think it's i think it'd be interesting or the fact that it's a switch exclusive is just shows like the pull that nintendo has right now you know what i mean mm-hmm. and like again as i was saying like i was not expecting uh expecting it to do that because like why why would marvel cut themselves off of a big audience like that well marvel i feel like is more is with disney which is kind of geared towards the youngsters so the switch is more seen like a 
family console more than a like adult like console mm-hmm. as us oh, sorry Whew. as us two grown men are playing this as we talk about video games um so i don't know i think they were trying to maybe gear in on a different type of audience and i feel like the people that want to play it will carry over onto the switch because they probably already have the switch I'll do that, huh? This is how we're gonna play Falco. Yeah, man. I mean, you're the Inkling. Inklings are really good. Yeah, they are. They're hard. I like. I don't know how to play them. Like this. <laughs> you just roller at me all day. Mm-hmm. Are you? Are you kid? Or are you Squid Joe? Hmm. I just died. I know. I um, said, so are you kid or a squid? I'm a squid. Nice. Um, no, I just like I wasn't expecting that, and I'm excited for it because like uh, Ultimate Alliance Two was one of my favorite games on the 360 because it followed the Civil War storyline, and like depending on who you backed between Tony and Captain America was uh, was like only half the cast was available for you, so it, you know encouraged you to play through a second time and all that mm. stuff. Um, so I just wonder what they're going to do with this third one. I'm excited. But what we um, didn't, so I was going to say, we didn't get this, the Square Enix Marvel game, uh, so that's still up in the air. And we did not get Bayonetta 3 or Metroid Prime 4, and those were the two heavy favorites going into the Game Awards of what Nintendo would show. Because they, they revealed Bayonetta 3 at the Game Awards last year with like a logo or whatever. So people just that assumed that it would update it there. Mm, that is true. Oh, oh my! Snap. <laughs> I hate you. your recovery is so good. You just walked off a ledge and still came back. Yeah. I'm I'm heated. Taste it. Um. I, I yeah. So, what do you think about like? You know, it's been now a year since we heard about Bayonetta three, and a year and a half since Metroid Prime four, and still haven't heard anything. Like, what do you think? Uh, I'm thinking Nintendo is taking their time and making a better game. That's just my opinion. Um, but I don't know. Like, I, w- I would rather have a whole thing about it if we're going to do it. Like, give me a Nintendo Direct and tell me about it. Right. Like, Nintendo's, Nintendo's always open about give it, do it and um, talking to people and, like, getting their stuff done at, like, their own kind of settings. And I feel like those are two very big announcements that they would want to do themselves. I don't think they want to do it at a game award. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, do you think, because it made, when I didn't see Metroid, it made me think, like, okay, that's going to be the showcase game this E3. Uh, like how this year was Smash, last year was Mario Odyssey, the year before that was Breath of the Wild. Like, that's going to be, like, the big main game for, for Nintendo at E3 this year. Maybe, yeah, that could be it. They're going to wait until E3. Because we know that PlayStation is going to be there. Right. Oh, well, yeah, no ink. Nerd. Um, yeah, this is so hard, guys. Like, thank you for listening to us and celebrating one year a couple Joes with us. But like, <laughs> it's really hard trying to talk and, and and be and be super pro Smash players like we are. It was bad at doing it. Oh man, oh. there you go. Um, so no, I think a lot of that stuff's gonna get set at E three. I think it, um, even at a, at a Nintendo Direct, they'll be like, hey, check it out, Mario. Oh, look what we got for you. This sexy little witch named Bayonetta. She coming at you. Um, so, yeah, like, because Bayonetta's a witch, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I feel like they're going to do it at, at a Nintendo Direct. And then at E3, they'll be like, oh, ho, ho. look at our other sexy character we got coming out. It's Samus. She's coming out with another Metroid Prime. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's what they're going to do. <laughs> well, they're like, I don't, if I was a, a marketing person, that would totally be my gig. Like, I would totally do that. <laughs> that's how you do it. Metroid Prime. Metroid Prime? What, what number are we on? Four. 17. Four. Oh, four. No, Joe. Just four. four. Uh, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else from... Uh... I forget that we were going to talk about... from Oh, Mortal Kombat 11. We'll just go over it quickly. Um, one of the worst songs I've ever heard in my life. 
Oh, you didn't even notice it until I punched uh, punched it out until I pointed it out. Yes, you. that is that is true. These are two um, separate things. I didn't notice it, and it's also one of the worst songs. Yeah, I'm a rapper, and I rap about a song, and it's going on my on this game, and it doesn't match up because this has a lot of high intensity happening, and I'm talking like I just did a whole bunch of like drugs. Um. <laughs> True. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we have another game where you can Again, uh, and apologies people. to anyone hearing the, the audio things going on on my, my computer right now. I think they can do that, but we're good. Yeah, nothing we can do about that, Joe. Um, yeah, but we got another game where we get to punch people with electricity and stuff, and we can fight with that, uh, that four armed person. And uh, Sub Zero is going to be in this one, I hear, so that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, that was a, a good what a joke what a nuanced take from from Joe Perry and on Mortal Kombat. <laughs> you should have should have laughed at my joke about Sub Zero, man. He's, He's in old. every game. <laughs> That's the joke. I know, man. I don't it, know. Like it comes out April. I wasn't expecting a reveal that close to the launch. Why? That's like the new thing that developers are doing. They're like. Hey, remember when we used to miss the, miss the, Hey, remember when we used to make you wait like two years for a game? Guess what? Two months now, coming out in April, <laughs> even though it's not two months away. But you know, uh, Joe, 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 can I ask you a question? Yes, you can, Joe. Um, who did you pick to fight next? <laughs> well, are you trying to counter team me right now? No, because I don't know how to do that. I'm going to do this, though. Uh, I chose Zelda. I, I've never even played her, so this is going to be fun. I'm going to show you um, a dark side. Let's do this. Oh, dark wow. Zelda? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Oh, sorry. I'm trying. So what I've been trying to do the last 10 minutes is get my, my Elgato capture card to show up in OBS, and we have it playing in the background. Of our podcast, but it's just not. Oh, working. oh, that would be so clutch! I hope we uh, don't re- don't put this in the actual podcast, though. So we don't cut this part out. <laughs> no, it's it's not it's not working. So I don't know. I've been trying for like ten minutes. It's just a black screen, and so I, I think I'd have to like reset my OBS. And is it really worth it, Joe? Uh, kind of. Um, <laughs> personal opinion. Hey, come touch my sword. Okay. <laughs> Take that. Um, so, anything else in Game Awards or no? We good on that? Uh, not really, except that Phil Spencer, uh, Reggie, and Mr. PlayStation was there. I don't know who the dude is. Sean <laughs> Layton or something like that? His, he's Mr. PlayStation. <laughs> yes, he is. Goodbye. Oh, I'm saying goodbye. I'm still here. Bye again. I'll get out of here. Um, so that was it for the Game Awards, I feel like. But at yeah. the same t- um, so... The the Italian oh, guy was either. back. The the, I, the cursing guy, No Way Out where, guy. Where was he? I didn't see he him. He was in the pre-show. He came on stage with Jeff Keighley. Oh, nice. And they're like, we're, um, getting, you, was like, we're getting you in the show early, so hopefully avo- we avoid any issues. That's what they said? Yeah. He, he, he seemed like he was having fun. <gasps> I got you... I got your ball. Your, your bomb. What the crap was that? <laughs> Where did that come from? I don't know. One of your moves or something? Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> no, I'm hacking the game right in front of you, Joe. Well, no, I thought that was like an assist trophy. I was like, I turned items off. <laughs> no. Um... But yeah, that was that was really it for me for the game awards. I was like, been there, seen that, game done. Oh. So close, um, Joe. So what's next? What else do we got to talk about? Uh, we have two Marvel oh, I movie trailers. I what? So I can't pause the game. I forgot. <laughs> Did you just try to pause? Yeah, I love I'm it. Gonna pull, I'm gonna pull up the Discord. Um, uh, yeah, we have two Marvel trailers to go over, Joe. Which one you want to do yeah. first? Well, let's do the let's do the one that's coming out more recent than the other one, and by more recent, I mean a month ahead of the other one. So yeah. Captain Marvel's coming out in April. I mean March. In March, yep. Um. 
So she's going to come in and show us what she can do, which she's apparently supposed to be the most powerful Avenger. That's what they're telling us. Well, that's what it is in the comics. No, she, I know, I know. I'm just saying, like, uh, get hyped. Yeah, get hyped. She kills, she's the one who's supposed to kill Thanos, and we're going to get all our boys and girls back, hopefully. But at the same time, it's like, oh, come on. <laughs> um, at the same time, let's let's have a real talk for a minute. Um, are you really... Like, did Thanos really do a bad job? Like, maybe he did try to save the universe. Like, maybe he universe by killing half of the population of it. But I mean, he definitely did a bad thing. He did do a bad thing, but, like, maybe it's, like, people got to do bad things to get stuff done. You know what I mean? Can't can't make an omelet without cracking a few eggs. <laughs> without cracking half the eggs in the universe. If you're running out of resources, what would you do, my dude? I probably not murder half the universe because he didn't just kill humans. He killed everything. Scarlett Johansson said he killed all half of all living beings. That includes right. doggos. That includes random beetles on the ground. I'm just saying, if it was to save the existence of every living creature in the universe. We were doing fine. Okay. Anyway, so <laughs> Captain Marvel. Captain, we got a, we got a side track. Captain Marvel's coming in trying to save the world. She's gonna show us what's up. Um, what is it? We're gonna learn a lot about her. We're gonna we meet a, a young Nick Fury. Yes, we do. Um, and we got that li- nice little scene at the end of the Last Avengers movie of her symbol on a on a souped up. Beeper. Yes, right. So, so she's definitely coming in um, to save the entire planet. But we're going to learn a little bit about her first, about her past of being a fighter pilot. And I'm excited to see that movie. And then it leads perfectly into the next movie, um, Avengers Endgame. You know, our uh, good boy Doctor Strange said it's all about the Endgame. So I want to see what this Endgame is. I would just like to say, Joe, I got the video to work so the second half of this podcast is going to have video footage which is nice cool um that means we're going to put on a show here we go uh anyway <laughs> um <laughs> anyway Play so, Yoshi. cool um so then in the new marvel tony stark floating in space talking to his helmet about how he's gonna die and like how everybody's gone and we're just going to see what's going to happen. But Ant-Man's back. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Let's stay on Captain Marvel here for a second before oh, we get okay. to Avengers. Okay. So, I think I'm very interested to see, like, is she a human that got transported to another world? And, like, they, they the Kree took her in and stuff? Because, yeah. like, that's how they're, like, kind of, like, building it up. was, like, she crash-landed or whatever. And, like, they made her one of them. And she has these, like, flashbacks to, like, moments from the past that look like Earth. And then when she punches that old lady on the bus, like, that looks like it could be Earth. Or do, do you know, super advanced alien species also have buses with old people on them? (laughs) I think she comes back to Earth because of something. She wants to know who she really is. And, um, well... We know she's a human that that uh, gains this gift from the person that she was interested in in the comics, which isn't necessarily what's going to happen here. Right. Uh, God. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know a lot about Captain To Yeah, I really don't know anything about her. So, that's why I was like, I don't know what else you want me to say about Well, her. here's our theory, Joe. This is I not s- our theory. This is your theory. No, it's not my theory. I saw it on Twitter. Um, somebody was like, I'm calling it right now. And it was like in all caps. And it was a uh, a previous conversation with Nick Fury and Avengers. Where he's like, I trusted somebody once. And I'm not going to let that happen again or something. And then it cuts to the photo of uh, <laughs> of him petting the cat. <laughs> and it's like, this is how he loses his eye. I'm calling it. Yeah, because of the cat. Actually... That could be true. That could be one of the... The cat could be an evil guy? Yeah, like in disguise. That would be funny. That would be pretty pretty bad. 
Pretty bad. No. Oof. Now we can. Now everyone can see. I'm so excited they can see us like grunting and like understand why. You can see me whooping you in this game right now. Maybe a little bit. All right. Maybe a little bit. Oh come Ooh. on. It's uh, not. Um, anyway. Yeah, so, like, I feel like I feel kind of bad for Captain Marvel because Captain a lot of people Marvel aren't Marvel. interested in her movie. They're interested in the last five minutes of her movie because they oh, want to wow. know how she's going to save us. You know what I mean? We're like what Black her? Panther last year. People were just like, this is a new character. We're not expecting him to, to save us from Thanos so we can just be excited about seeing it. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, but the whole movie is her origin, not her... Right, and I'm saying people don't care right now. They just want to see how she's going to help us against Thanos. Well, we... Okay. I guess you are right. I'm sorry, that was towards people who just... That was a dope move, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Like I went right oh, that would have been so good! Um... God, just a dinosaur. Um... I don't know. I'm excited to see the Captain Marvel movie. I'm totally uh, I'm excited for the new Avengers movie, too. I just want to see, before we move on to Avengers, I want to see how she goes from a green outfit to a USA outfit. That's all I care about. It, it's probably because she... Damn she, it! She disbands from the group that she's with because she she fights with a group. There, there There's a group of them. And right. they all have matching outfits. And it's the green outfit. And I feel like when she comes to Earth, uh, and like works with Nick Fury, and she gets the the red white no, the red white and blue makeover as I like. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think that's what's gonna happen. All right, bring us on into Avengers, bud. All right, Avengers Endgame. As I play Pac Man, who I've never played before in my life. Mm-hmm. Um. I think this is a very cool title. It fits, you know, obviously. It, it it makes total sense. There's even stories from, like, or they've shown, like, videos of, like, the beginning when they're trying to figure out how to beat Thanos, of, like, t- of Tony saying the word Endgame. And then, of course, uh, uh, Doctor Strange, after, you know, he gives up the time stone. Tony asks, why'd you do that? He says, we're in the Endgame now. So I think that's a great title for the fourth movie. It's a lot better than Infinity War Part 2. <laughs> Um, so good for, good for them to, uh, to, to fix that. Um, I loved the beginning of it with, with Tony where he's like alone on the, on the spaceship and like he's talking to himself. I can also hear my own echo by the way, just letting you know. Oh my God. (laughs) Turn around. Okay. How, how about now? Uh, better. Uh, I'll just say it's better. It's fine. We'll live. We're having fun here. We're celebrating our anniversary, Joe. I'm not going to let it stop us, all right? We're making, we're making an annoying pop. Yes. Oh, my God! That was so cool! I've never... I've literally never played Pac-Man before in my life. So... Well, yeah. I get that. I'm trying to... I'm using your girl so that you don't hurt me that bad. Isabel, Isabel. <laughs> Nice. Sorry, Isabel. I have to. Gotta slap him up every once in a while. You know what I'm saying? I do. Oh my god! <laughs> um, so I thought that was a really cool way to to start the trailer. I don't know if the movie's gonna start that way with him on the thing, but like just seeing Probably. seeing Tony like Stark really give well. up. You know what I mean? Like he's always been up until the end of, up until the end of Infinity War. He was always like, "No, I'm American. Like we're gonna we're gonna get through this. Like I'll know a way." And like right he's given up all faith. Like he does not think he's going to he's going to save the universe. Well, he's floating in space, man. I know. He ran out of food. I he aware. ran out of water. I I'm saying I like this new change in Tony. It's not that he's not, he's giving up. He's like he's run out of options. There's nothing he can do. You make it sound like he like chose. He's like, Well, I guess we're just gonna sit here. And die now with all this food with me and oxygen. What I'm saying is that up to this point, Tony never gave up. And now, regardless of how we got to this situation, he is in a spot where he has given up. That's all I'm saying. That's such a weird thing to say, though. Because That is not! I think it's it's a change in character development. That is not a weird thing to say. You're getting very aggressive. (laughs) Because Isabel... 
Dude, it just doesn't make any, like, he doesn't have an... What else you want him to say? Yeah, I'm going to make it out of this. I don't, I don't get what you don't get, Joe. I'm not saying this is a bad thing. I'm saying I like his character being, like, in the dump. Like, being sad that he's about to die. I'm saying I like where the trailer starts off. Because obviously he's not going to stay that way the whole time. I and know, he has I mean, that great line. Oh, God, what's the line? It's like, a part of the journey is the end. Jesus yeah, Christ, that's a good is. line. Why is it a good line, Joe Brown? Because that's a, a part of life, man. Like, a part of the journey is the end. Like, like you can't, you know, you can't just experience... Oh, damn it. Um, you can't just only have the good times or think it's going to go on forever. And we know all the all our favorite characters are going to move on and the actors are going to leave and stuff. And, like, a part of the fun of the journey is is it ending. Like, would Lord of the Rings be good if they never got to Mordor? Maybe. You don't know that. You don't know that. I'll never know. What I do know is that was a sick back air. Uh, what else do you want to say about... Oh, damn it. Um, I want to ask you a serious question. Sure. Are you, uh, you think Captain America's going to die in this one? Because I do. I don't know. He got clean shaven now. <laughs> He's trying to look good. It's trying to look good, but this is his last movie. Hmm. But if he... Like, do you think he's going to die when all of us lit? Like, we're at the end of it, everyone's going to be alive again? Like, won't that be weird? I think it would, but what, do you, what else? Oh, there's do? no way. Come on. <laughs> Not that happened. Um, but I, what, else, what else are they going to do? Leaving. Unless he's passing the torch down to the to Falcon already but i don't think that's what's going to happen like what do you think is going to happen i think there's a very good chance he dies but i think it's one of those things where it's so obvious he's going to die that now they don't you know they're going to try to find a a way to have him to live and have him walk off in the sunset or something Mm. i think that's a possibility i'm not saying that's what's going to happen yeah a less dramatic version of what could happen um got you he did, he like, he looked at his locket and it had like the, um, Penny, what's her name? Oh my God. Agent Carter. Yes. Uh, Agent Carter in his locket. So it's like, he could be rejoining her once again and stuff. In you death? Know, in death. Brings is life. That what, is that what you're getting at? They're going to join? That, no, I saw like somebody say that on like, in a reaction to the video, like, you know, he, he's like, come to terms with dying because he can, you know, be with his love again. Mm, okay, I got you, I got you. Yeah. Um, I don't know, man. We'll have to see. Like, Alright, Scott I, Lang. Kind of... Let's let's talk about Scott Lang. Okay, what's his importance here? Like, I don't, like, I know he's in the movie, but I'm just saying, like... Apparently, what? there's, like, a he's very got... popular fan theory that Scott Lang is going to save us from... That was nice. Um, mm. From Thanos. Because, oh, because he can go... Into the multiverse or whatever. Interdimensional travel when he goes into the suit. I think he's going to bring people back. I think he's the way we bring people back. But Captain Marvel is the person who... um, Who beats Thanos? Who beats Thanos. Because... It's logical. I I don't think people are just going to come back. No, yeah, it's definitely got to be something. Let's see if I can do this. I can't... (laughs) Um, it's, it's like something oh. has to, I don't know, like, I'm trying to figure out, like, what are they going to do? Like, they kill Thanos, and then it's just like, in a video game, where the person who did the bad thing, you kill him, and all the bad things they do gets reversed? Like, right. like what are they going to, like, how is that going to work? Don't, maybe they have to steal the time stone again to, like, reverse everything, and maybe that's how he can steal it, by going in, oh. in dimensions or something. I'm just throwing things out. I don't know if that's what's going to happen. Or maybe maybe we, like, do a multi-dimensional steal Doctor Strange back, and then that's what we do, but that... Like, you know what I mean? How does it solve, like, him doing it again? Stuff yeah. like that. But... Oh no! I oh, killed no. myself. Ah, oh, I forgot the new the new air dodge. Like, put so much lag that like you can't, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. 
But I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know how they're going to bring back. I, I want to know. I'm dying to know how they're going to do it. Like, because I'm, I don't know. It's got to be good. A... Like, they can't just phone it in. You know what I mean? Like, because we're going to be upset if, like, 10 years builds up to, like, the, oh, we're all good. Don't worry. Like, it's got to yeah. be logical. Yeah, it's not, like... It's not like, oh, we were behind this dumpster hiding. Gotcha. <laughs> Half the universe was behind this dumpster. Oh, damn it. <laughs> what happened, man? Anyway. I didn't have a jump. That's what happened. Yeah. Um, everybody gets one, right? Hmm? I said everybody gets one, right? Everybody gets one. Anyway. Uh, I, I don't know. Like, I want them to bring all of my favorite characters back. I want... You better, you better bring back Spooderman. He has to. His month is two to. months after, or his movie is two he, months after. He has to come back because they're making a movie. They have a. Oh, the Spooderman! Now he is the coolest. Um. um oh, Hawkeye! Hawkeye's chilling. He's got a blade now. He's yeah, got a blade. he's a badass now. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's what we're going to call him. Badass. <laughs> what, you, you're not interested? Well, not yet. Not yet, friend. You ever see the old SNL sketch with uh, with him hosting his Hawkeye? Uh, uh, Jeremy no, Renner? I haven't. Um, so he's, he's like... He show like, he's got sunglasses on. He, like, shows up late. It's right after Avengers 1. Are you going to play or what? Um, yeah, sorry. I'm picking a character. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> and and uh, so like he shows up and everyone's fighting in New York and stuff. And he's like, oh, sorry, I was late. Blah blah. And then he's like, oh, I'm all out of arrows. And they're like, oh yeah. What I do you that. mean you're out of arrows? How many did you bring? Eleven. Oh, <laughs> and it's like there's like a million of these aliens we need you to kill. He's like, yeah, and there's 11 less of them. You're welcome. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I remember that. That's such a classic sketch. He's like, well, I'm out. I'm going to go hide in the car now. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. Oh, God. All right. You get jiggly puffed? (laughs) I'm about to get, I'm about to get puffed so hard. You're about to get jiggly puffed. I hate jiggly puff. Why? Because I'm jiggly? No, because it's just... Like, literally, if they waited one more generation to add another Pokemon besides Pikachu, Jigglypuff would not be in this game. Like, they're nowhere near as relevant in Pokemon fandom as they were when there was only 150. Oh my, oh my god. And, it, so and when, you know, it's just a... When she first started, it's just a Kirby clone. Like, it was just a fatten out the roster yeah just like how they 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 never do that now no they never roster now with the millions of clones right do you realize like there's so many of the new characters are echo fighters oh really what gave you that uh, that impression no i'm just saying <laughs> dude i said that from the beginning i was like dude how come so many characters are just similar Ooh, oh. take that counter Ooh, take my jiggly puff Goodbye. Um, all right, so let's move on to the main topic here: Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, which we've been—you can now see in the background. So I guess for the first thirty-five minutes, I'll—I'll I'll just have to make a JPEG or something. So f- sorry for that. We didn't—we didn't think about that first because it w- literally was like right before we recorded. Joe was like, "Why don't we just play Smash as we talk about Smash?" And I—I now—I now regret not setting up the capture card beforehand. But whatever, we got—we got footage for you now. It's—it's it's all right. And it's great because you're about to watch Joe Brown win for the first time. <laughs> On video, but I think I won another one at some point. Uh, maybe, but this is the first confirmed one. <laughs> it's the first one with, with video evidence. Yeah, there you go. Um, so, Super Smash Ultimate. Let's talk about it. Let's get into the nitty gritty of it. I right. am enjoying it a lot. Um, you, do, you do the nitty, I do the gritty. Okay, the storyline <laughs> to it is a bit of meh, but I'm fine with it. I'm a I'm a crawl around that map. I'm gonna find all those spots. I'm gonna beat those those heroes. Um, 
I'm gonna get to the end and I'm gonna I'm gonna save the day. Um, and that's fun. Like getting some of it's repetitive, some of it's really hard. Um, Ridiculously hard. Like unfairly like, hard. I know. I've had to skip a bunch of them. But at the same time, they're apparently that's what the souls are there for? Or whatever, the spirits. Spirits, spirits. yep. And uh, I really don't like it. Like, I don't like the spirits. I'm like, how come I can't just go in there, do my thing, play my character, and then win? Why do I have to be like, oh, I need, yeah. like, 10,000 power to I actually down hate it. Like, I despise I the spirits. I hate it. I hate it. I don't like it. I don't like the twisting of the map. I don't like the sticky poisonous floor. It's like, right. it's like stop making me read something before I jump into this battle to make sure I'm prepared for it. Let me, let me like get into this battle and just use my skill and like, let me play. Like, let me do my thing, dog. Right. Like, or if you are going to have that any, and it's like, use the, the auto battle thing or whatever to like, or to like the preferences or like make it actually mm-hmm. good because there's time. Oh, uh, this one, this one, the the floor is lava. Okay, well, I have a spirit that makes me immune to to uh, to you have lava. An immune, you have immune one. I only have. Yeah, I just got days. it. I just got it like last oh, night. Where, so where I got it pretty. Get it. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, but so like I have that. So when I hit suggestion or whatever, hit Y for you to auto pick for me. Maybe I don't know on a level that you need to resist lava. Put the one that's there and not. Freaking, oh, you start with this candy cane as an item. Or it's like, oh, this is a stamina battle? Well, when I hit auto-select, why don't you put one of my four spirits that boost my stamina? You know what I mean? Like, it's well, just I, maddening. Well, that's why I use, um, I found a nifty thing. Um, there's a filter at the top. You can hit, I think you can hit our button, not our trigger the button for R. Uh, if you hit that, you can set a filter on it. Mm-hmm. And um, you have to do this while you're, like, in the stage. Like, getting ready to use the, to fight the stage or whatever. Um, you can hit uh, the filter that says recommended. And it'll only give you the ones recommended for that. No, but that doesn't even work sometimes. That's what I'm oh, saying. It, it, work, it's, it has worked every time for me. Like, there have been times where, like, I have a Snorlax who has, like, resistance towards, like, wind blowing or whatever right or something like that yeah yeah and and like i, I see, and they go in the I recommended and then the snorlax yeah. is not there well may, like, oh it but it also could be due to the fact that the oh come player. on i totally i was trying to be cool and air dodge yeah, into I mean, the ledge when i should have just went into the ledge and it cost me a lot of life um so here's another thing i noticed if you don't have enough spaces to fill to use that thing it yeah. will not show up in your recommended spot like, if you're using... Like, oh, yeah, like, know, you only have one space and it costs two. Yeah. Yeah, they won't show up. So maybe that's why. I just think there's way too many spirits and, like, there's just... There's no oh, need for it. Like There is. And and you run out of the use of some... Power levels are too low. Right. Or they're just old. and you, Like, I've been using... Though I have been using the same one for a while. Um, oh, yeah. And, Usually, when I play Lucario... I just use um, one of the ones that boosts Lucario's aura, and then like one that boosts grabs, and like I and then the only thing I change is like the uh, the main spirit or whatever based on difficulty, like because like I'm just not dealing with it. The only time I'm gonna change one is if I need a stamina battle one, if I need a sleep resist one or whatever. Like, well, no, no, I'm saying I hardly change the main one. Oh, the only the, I only change the main one. I keep the support ones the same unless I need oh. to change them. I usually change the support ones though. Well, like, you... there you go, go ahead. I was gonna say I just stick with my. Uh, which one am I using right now? I'm using like this one that jacks up my power to ten thousand. Um, because it's over nine thousand. What's up? Uh, but it jacks up to ten thousand. I can literally take down anything except for stupid stamina ones that like have a power have a, a shield level of like twenty three thousand. I'm like, I don't know what you want me to do with that. Right. But then your your rewards are less. What do you mean? Your rewards for beating those those battles are less because you're if you if you have your ten K spirit equipped and you're going up against like a three K enemy, your rewards mm. are lessened. I mean, I don't really care. Like I'm 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 almost I have the 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 skill tree was fully, like, ranked out. 
I'm doing. I'm doing fine. <laughs> I'm doing fine for myself. Thank I'm you very fine. much. I can do it. Like I got it. Um, like, I don't really care. Yeah, I just uh, think it's so blue. poorly designed. Like, I absolutely despise like artificial difficulty and like yeah. and getting like gated content for no reason. It's not like it's DLC. It's like, oh, you can't enter here yet because it's not. It's this part of World of Light's not ready yet. It's like, oh, you just started here. Like, we want to stop you from going where you want. So here is a, a twelve thousand, you know, difficulty. Uh, fight. So this way, you can try, sure, and you can spend five hours trying to beat it with your 3,000 spirit. But, like, or you can just go play another area. Like, I hate how they gate the content that way. And then, the like, the challenges are just so frustrating. Like, I've slammed my desk in frustration because of how annoying the things are. Like, oh, here's five Wii Fit trainers all shooting things at you, and they combo, they combo attacks into each other, and you get one life. Oh yeah, I know that. Like I know that a lot thing. of the cha- Not- a lot of the tougher ones, it's like I've just I've gotten lucky with the CPUs being dumb or like some of the opponents having bad recoveries, and I can try to gimp them or whatever. Yeah. No, don't you win me? Mm. Um. Yeah. Like I think it's very poorly designed. I have played for sixteen hours and only unlocked thirty-two characters. In World of Light, like that's ridiculous. Well, well, that's the other thing. I don't think playing the World of Light is going to unlock all. Characters. I guess. Yeah, I guess not. I don't know. I mean, I am pretty far in. Like, I've made, I've got yeah, the whole like, shield down. I'm in the second portion. Like, dude, I'm telling. Like, I'm telling. Oh, you have the whole shield down already? Yeah. I just got the whole shield down, and I've, I'm almost done with the second portion. Like I after the more- electric bridge, I just started that area. Electric bridge. Uh, you know where the like that whole like beam, the yellow beam of light or whatever, and you can't cross it. Yeah, I, I'm done, almost done with that area. Yeah, I'm that's where I. Like... That's where I am. I don't know. Um, but I'm not a fan. And then like the spirits. Have you tried the spirit board, where you just like go up against different spirit challenges and you can unlock them, no, like that? I'm really bad as bomb as Mega Man. <laughs> Um, or I'm just great as Kirby. It's also mm. the ulterior option. Probably not. Um, <laughs> uh, so like they'll have like you know five spirits show up, and you can, and they have different uh, you know range of difficulty and stuff. And you if you battle them, you can you can unlock them if you win. Uh, no, and like it, it changes like every five minutes or something what the spirits are that are available. Oh come on! <laughs> I definitely I thought I grabbed the lights there. Didn't see that coming. Um, I know I haven't done that at all. Yeah, it's re- it's also really poorly designed. Like, it's like okay, there's the only things that are worth it are the things that are like ridiculously hard, and you know, unless yeah. I have thirteen hundred points, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be able to to beat it. Like, um, so you've unlocked the different shops and stuff from World of Light, right? Yeah. Like I, uh, don't pay atten- t- I don't pay attention to any of them. Right, it, they're they're not worth it. But <laughs> oh, that was a nice combo. What you put the bomb on my head and then did and whatever? then I hit you? Yeah, yeah it was bad. It was a bad combo, dog. Now I'm Mega Man. Bye. Shut up. Oh, um, <laughs> how adorable the little face on the block in that close up was. Oh my god, get out of here. <laughs> Um, yeah, so all, like I do, those... all I do is put my I put my spirits in dojos and just leave them there and then go get them. The, later. the training mode thing. Yeah, yeah. Also the um the the like the the mines or whatever are absolutely not worth it. They take two hours and you get like four hundred coins or whatever. Yeah, I don't pay attention. I don't use those either. Yeah, but so Anna's Emporium was <laughs> the first the first shop I opened. Okay. In World of Light, and it had a uh, a five star a five star Mithra like spirit or whatever or, mm-hmm. or Pyra mm-hmm. Pyra not Mithra, um, and it was ten thousand SP the the green currency, and I literally just started the game like I was an hour into the game, yeah, and then so that thing rotates that that shop rotates every couple of minutes. 
And now I'm like, well, I really want this. It's really good. Like I've saved, I have like 30,000 SP saved up for when that comes back around. And like, yeah. it just never does. You know what I mean? Yeah. I because oh, it's like, oh, well, I can go try to fight it in the spirit boards and, you know, but you, you have to use currency to, to, you only, you only get a certain amount of rematches. You have to like get them. Like there's these different cards that give you the rematch, the rematch option. And if you don't have any, you can't rematch it. And, oh, if you also like, you have to beat it and then you have to try to unlock it through, um, or you have to try to get it by trying to shoot this like laser through their, their shield and the ones that are harder ca- are, you know, the shield moves faster and there's less of an opening. And it's like, oh, you, you missed it? Well, you got to try again next time. It's like, well, it's impossible. There's literally no hole in the shield. So I can't, like, I'm going to have to do this again? Like, it's just, I, I am not a fan of the spirits. And I actually, like, I think World of Light is objectively terribly designed. They have gated content for no reason. The, like, it's not, it's not fun to, to face five five nesses or whatever like whatever you know I, I I like the intent that they had it's like we can't include all these characters so we're gonna have references by like you know having Pikachu be Mimikyu or, or whatever like you know I've just made it up yeah. I'm just saying something random I like the intent behind that like I think it was interesting but the execution is just so poor because they they have too many spirits and they're like Oh, Rob's this big robot, like, you know, or, or Yoshi's being this other dinosaur character. It's like, okay, I get it. But after 500 freaking battles, like, the the novelty of it doesn't matter to me anymore. Yeah, I got you. Ooh, that didn't kill? Oh, my God. Gen's very good now. Well, he's not, like, good. Oh, damn it. Yeah, he's not. That's but like, good. he's not trash tier, which is an upgrade for him. All and all the heavies are really good. Like, or oh, they're just no. again, they're just not bad. And heavies have always been bad in Smash. Well, because yeah, Bowser, so slow. Bowser's my boy right now. Everyone's loving K. Rule right now. Yeah, I'm not a fan, but Bowser's my Bowser's my dude. But yeah, that's <gasps> our. I think that's our take on Smash. Anything else we got to talk about? I mean, I like the gameplay. Obviously, like it feel it feels much faster than Smash Four, which I like because it's yeah. everyone's like, oh, it's the closest it's been to melee. And it's like, okay, well, that's just because yeah. Brawl was slow and Smash Four was not melee. <laughs> like, so no, by no. default, it's the closest speed wise to melee. Well, yeah, that's the point. But they, I don't think it was intentional. Like, we're gonna make it melee like. I don't think that was their design. Like, it's just people saying that. Yeah, it's, they're just saying that. They're giving their opinions, man. And there's also Close. input delay, um, or input buffering, I guess. It's not delay, because delay would be online. So, I'm not talking about us playing right now and, and, and lag and stuff. Like, <clears throat> there's actual input buffer where, like, you sometimes can't... I can't get back. Um, yep. you, you can't... You can't hit your next move or whatever within, like, a 10 or a 15 frame window and stuff. And, like, yeah. I th- that's really bad. That was a very poor design choice. I don't understand why they did that. Hmm, yeah, I don't know why they do that either. And it's, like, even top players are, like, this is really hard to, to get used to. Yeah. Uh-oh. It says, yeah. It says waiting for players. Am I disconnecting from you? No. 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 All right. We'll do, we'll do one more match. So, a, one okay. year of Cup of Joes, Joe. Yes, one year. That's us. How's it feel? What it, what's what's been some of your your favorite memories or anything? You know, let's let's walk down memory lane for our listeners. Okay. As we do that, I'm going to fight you with, in my underwear. <clears throat> okay, that, you know what? Whatever works for you. Uh, I I like the fact that we started doing those funny intros. Those, that's my favorite part of the show, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's your underwear. You're Shulk. I get it now. Yeah, I'm Shulk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have your ninja yet. I've been looking for him. Ooh, sucks to suck. He's a hard bi- character. <laughs> He's a hard dude. <laughs> um, Yeah, I I'm think that's kidding. one of my favorite things. I sh- that's one of those things I picked up from, from radio back in college. Was like, 
you wanna you wanna have a bump, you wanna have something to like to set the tone or whatever, you know, of the show. Like even if they weren't funny, like if we were just like, you know, hey, this is we're gonna talk about pasta top servings or whatever for an hour, mm-hmm. like just have oh. the have... <laughs> nice. Nice backslash, bruh. Um nice. I've never used this guy before. He's tough. He's he's a yeah. he's a difficult character. I know he just got armors. But um, I think like, you know, I think it makes people excited. Like, I don't you know, if anyone wants to, to fill us in and let us know some of their favorite things about the show, like it it's one of those funny moments like you know what you're getting into. Like it's about to be a fun yeah. time. And yeah. usually it's a, related to the current episode, but sometimes I just I just keep some things under wraps and don't tell Joe about it. And then he he hears it in the in the intro and in the bump, and he's like, "When did I say this?" <laughs> yeah, like the like the last like one of the last episodes, I like I heard it and I was like, I, I think it was like I'm it was the joking. Fallout one. Yeah, it was like it was like I was like I don't know why I'm getting so aggressive. I didn't make this game. Yeah. <laughs> And I was just like, when did I say that? Like, and I was like, E3 2013, I've held on to this since June to use as a bump. Yeah, it was just like, oh my god. Oh, I know. just killed myself. Oh, no, we're good, we're good. Okay. Yeah, like, it was like four months ago that I had said it, and he had held on to it. Um, I'm trying to think. One of my favorite episodes we did was uh, The Last Jedi Discussion. And this oh, was back when we were just on Podbean, so if any of our YouTube listeners, you're going to have to check out cupofjoes.podbean.com to listen to that one. Um, but that was like our best, to this day, our, our our highest, not rated, but like most viewed, whatever whatever terminology you want to you wanna use. Yeah. Like That was our, met, metrics-wise, our best episode. And I think we had a really good discussion in that one. I think it, that just means you need to move to Texas so we can live together and make a podcast together. Well, we already make the podcast, but now we can make the podcast. Bye. <laughs> Bye. And, and I think that's where we should end the show, perfectly on that. Do you have any goals for the second year of Cup of Joes? Uh, get more listeners. <laughs> <laughs> you... I'm so mad at how simple that was, <laughs> but how on point it was at the same time. Yeah, it's like, what's what's your biggest goal for this next year? Um, to get more people to listen to it. <laughs> oh my god. We're going to look back on these days, 20 years from now, Joe, and laugh and cry. And be like, what were we thinking if we could do a podcast? That ended terribly. <laughs> yeah, right? Can't believe that podcast and it lasted one year and one week. That would be this one. Yeah. But, um, all right. I'll Smash give a... episodes really killed me. <laughs> I'll, I'll give a real goal. I want to have more guests on. Like, I think we've had our oh, we've had our friends come on, and those episodes have done better than our, our, our other episodes. Um, I don't want to play, <laughs> play Shulk again. All right, so then don't play Shulk. I won't. Um, Wouldn't let me back out. Yeah, uh, like I'd like to get like some Smash commentators on or something and discuss or like some of my Pokemon friends, like some of my commentary friends. When the new the new Pokemon game has news on it, you know, I can have some one of them come on or something. Like, I think that could work in tandem with trying trying to get more viewers if we can get some people on the show. Hey, and then one yeah, day, do it. One day, Tom Hanks comes on Cup of Joe's. Hello, I'm Tom Hanks. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Tom Hanks, you're welcome for being with us. He's on a show right now, Joe Brown. Hi, what's up, Tom Hanks? Mr. Woody, what's up? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> you know what my favorite part of all of uh, Cup of Joe's <laughs> is? <laughs> Detective <laughs> Pikachu. <laughs> I, I knew it. I love that you knew where I was going. This is why we're best friends, Joe. Oh man, Detective Pikachu's where it's at. That was my good, good bit that no one really listened to. We might have to, uh, like, we might have to live stream that movie just because of the importance it is to our to our show. Yeah. Oh, oh hello, I'm Detective Pikachu, the great detective of time. Oh, <laughs> guess who's here, Detective Pikachu? God, that hurts my throat. 
<laughs> imagine the uh, the voice actor for the game. Yeah, I'm sure that's what he actually sounds like, though. No. No. Oh, are we just going? I was gonna say, are we just gonna keep trading attacks, like no damage. You, may, you mean by trading attacks, um, you're like at 108, and I'm. No, there was like three attacks in a row where we just hit each other. Like your foot hit my hand, and you know, it was hot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're gross. <laughs> All right, let's just keep talking since now we have the video footage. Let's just keep talking until this match ends. No, this is a great time to end the show. Oh, really? We're gonna t- we're gonna tease the audience. How are they gonna know who wins this match? <laughs> well, you can just assume that it's gonna be me. Wow, the disrespect! Dude, oh my disrespect. god! You see, did you just of- see that again? How like my sh- yeah? Bye, Joe Brown. You're dead. <laughs> You mean the amount of disrespect that I've been giving you this whole time we've been recording? I've been killing you with this game. Hey, man. I'm playing handheld, too. <laughs> Imagine what I could do with a GameCube controller. Can you stop hurting my my soul, please? Ah, you got me that time. Man. You got me. Oh, no, we're going to finish this match, Joe. I don't care. I don't care. Because don't we have care. to finish it in real life, too. Even, after, yes. even if we stop recording mid-match. We'd still have to finish this, so. Taste it. Taste my booty. Oh, my, my onions. My, my onions. My beets. My turnips. That's what they are. The turnips. Hey, welcome to my turnips. Turn up! Yeah, Get it? it looks, like you're, looks like you're turning up again, Joe Brown. <gasps> I can shoot you. Not me. Apparently, Peach and, Peach and um, Daisy are really good, people are saying. Like, top tier Smash play? Yeah, but they've been good. But, like, they're, like, top of the class now for some reason. That's what I've been seeing online. So, I wish I was good enough to play them. Well, let's play them, then. It's not that easy. I'm who are your, literally who are your mains, there. Joe? Oh, this is one of them. <laughs> Just play them. You're gonna uh, say you're not gonna transfer over to to the D, the Daisy Clan like everyone else. You're gonna stay ride or die with Peach. They're literally the exact same character. I know, but like oh. it's the palette slot. Which palette do you prefer? Some people this want one. Daisy more than Peach. Well, okay. Uh, my mains are um, I like Toon Link a little bit better than I like because I'm apparently not that good with normal. Young Link is really good right now. He's super fast. He's super fast. But... Okay, I'm booty kicked. Take this laser, damn it. You didn't take the Uh, laser. I I gave it to you on a platter. And and, and you you spat on it. You took my heel. What, you gave me the laser on a platter? Die. No, no, no. Don't you do this to me, Joe. I've been debating if I should go to, like, some Smash Locals. Do it. But I'm going to get bodied. This is really what our end of our podcast is going to be. We literally have to finish this match. We cannot leave them in wondering what will happen forever. They're going to ask, but what happened with that one Samus versus Peach match? People are going to... Oh, I thought it was charged. Yes, there we go. Oh, no, you did not. No, you did not, Joe. I have to show you some of this. Bye. No! <laughs> <laughs> I walked into it. You did? I was like, boy, he just gave me that. Oh! <laughs> We're both like last hit range right now. Oh, yes! No, no! And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. No! Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for celebrating one year of Cup of Joes with your two favorite Joes. My name is Joe Brown. I have been joined by my best friend, Joe Perry. And Joe, congratulations on one year. Let's make year two even better than year one. Let's do it. People, please listen to our podcast more. <laughs> please, please show your friends because we think we're pretty fun. So. <laughs> It's 10.30. Time for me to go to bed. Mm. Ooh, how are you going to sleep at night with how that last uh, match just ended? Oh, man. What are you talking about? You want to you talk about playing you winning two out of all of them, man? 
<laughs> I'm just saying. It's not about how you start. It's about how you end, all right? A uh, part of the journey is the ending. You are correct. A part of the journey is the ending. Journey that you just went on. Thank you, Tony Stark. <laughs> All right, did everybody. Not, did not own up to the ending you just got. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying, coming through in the clutch. That's just what I do.